another session of Daxmar Cafe's Business Catch Up. And, and this is Rom. And I'm Joy. I'm oh, Frank. Yeah. And yes, and we have Frank Gabriel with us today, who is an owner of a franchise business with Jim's Clinic. That's right. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Daxmar Cafe's Business Catch Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Joy, and thank you very much, Romy, for having me here. So, it's an honor. Let's start? Of course. So, my first uh, question. Is what was your first uh, type of uh, business experience? Uh, well, aside from uh, trying to uh, outsmart my mother, uh, first uh, uh, I would usually uh, try to uh, think of what I like. Mm -hmm. Usually, these are items in school that I can bring to school mm -hmm. so that uh, I can show off to my uh, other kids, to uh, friends. Oh, okay. And it made me uh, feel better every time I have something. Mm -hmm. okay. So to me, at that stage, uh, that was a business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. uh, Frank, if you have a mentor or an inspiration, who is that? And what impact did they make on you? I think when I was a child, uh, my uh, first inspiration were my parents. Mm -hmm. Second is uh, the organization where I belong, which is a school. The bigger uh, mm -hmm. organization is a school at that stage. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, it's because uh, your parents are the ones who are providing you, mm. and uh, the, the, the school or where you uh, uh, where you uh, turn around with uh, other uh, activities like your uh, mm. academic uh, time and your sports time and uh, hanging around with friends will uh, give you value mm. to what you can share with other teams. But uh, as long as uh, as uh, you grow older, you try to see uh, that your uh, your environment is becoming bigger as well, and your needs are becoming bigger. And that's where, where you think, uh, how can you uh, support these uh, needs? Yeah, fantastic. So, so Frank is a sole trader and uh, owning a franchise business. How long is the business now? It's already uh, two years. Two years, two years. So, I used to be a registered nurse. Ah, okay, okay. It's nice, it's nice to know. So, if you have to do your business again, uh, do you have any changes that you have to implement? Definitely, there are changes that uh, I would like to implement if I look, probably I could uh, go back. Because uh, as uh, the saying goes, uh, we learn through mistakes. But remember, mistakes can uh, slow down your business. And it can also uh, take toll on your uh, uh, operational cost or your capital. So it's best to have that uh, pre-learn the ideas, concepts, and this can best be served by other uh, sources like... Uh, uh, I would normally uh, research deeply in, in the things before uh, doing things. Uh, but uh, again, there are shorter ways of doing things. Okay. Like uh, those uh, already who made success are the first first uh, people to uh, share. Sorry to cut you off. Before I continue with my next question, tell, tell our viewers more about your business and invite them as well. Uh, well, uh, uh, whatever uh, profession you have or uh, whatever endeavor you're uh, into, uh, we try to uh, get better in whatever uh, we do, whether you are in the service uh, uh, aspect or uh, in an employee, employee the uh, institution. Anyone can uh, possibly uh, be delivering service as well. Remember that uh, we are always in business. You may be an employee, but you can still a business. You can be a sole, sole trader, but you can still act as a business. So it's business is about uh, how you uh, develop that uh, kind of attitude, how you can develop that kind of uh, thinking in uh, molding your financial future. So while we spend, you. Uh, as well, uh, role in the uh, budget for the future. Okay. Uh, Frank, if there is one quote or saying that you live your life by, what is that and why? I think uh, the best thing is to uh, follow your instinct. Okay. Yes. And again, with this instinct, uh, it uh, can be uh, guided by pre-learned lessons. Mm -hmm. And again, this can be shortened with the people around you mm -hmm. who can help you because they have all, they are all the we have these uh, established in institutions like TaxSmart. Yeah. They have already made it easier for us. So if I go back again and uh, relearn those things, I think uh, I'll just uh, possibly uh, consult mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, invest in the, those knowledges mm -hmm. that are already established. Okay. Thank you. 
and I think uh, we can save time as well and we can have uh, uh, time for ourselves socially. Okay. okay. My next question, Joy, is um, I know we are so busy at this time. Um, what are the common questions you get asked from your, your friends or co-workers? How can, how can you do this, this uh, business? I think uh, similarly, uh, I often encounter this kind of business mm. as uh, what you have uh, asked. How could you possibly uh, do this? Do this yeah. Like uh, anyone else, uh, we are uh, rolling towards uh, the future. And there's a time frame. It's uh, basically our guideline is uh, discipline. And uh, discipline can something that you can instinctively instinctly have already, but yet you can be guided by other uh, people, those who already made successes. And again, uh, institutions mm. who could possibly uh, provide you the uh, guide. Mm. And uh, I think uh, another thing is uh, you uh, try to uh, see uh, how you could possibly uh, grow from this thing so that you can uh, put an idea or a concept on how to grow and how can you possibly uh, de develop further so that you could not be bounded within you what you are doing. So that you can possibly extend socially, you could possibly share to the community, or you could possibly connect to the community, whichever way. Yeah. So you're going also outside your business, and it connects you to you know, some networks. Good. That's very practical, Sam. Yeah. One question for me again is, Thank what's, you, what's one thing that you think keeps other people from achieving their goals? I think uh, it's a belief. It's a belief of uh, what you would like to achieve. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, with this belief, uh, it's compounded with uh, uh, how are you going to achieve these things. And again, uh, it starts with your uh, potentials as a person, as a human being, your God-given uh, talents. You try to uh, appreciate what's inside, and you try to uh, develop uh, a concept on how you could uh, possibly become a bigger. If we can only share, if we can become bigger. And uh, again, there are many people who would like to share this uh, concept with you to uh, collaborate mm. and to uh, yeah, yeah. share mm. with, uh, with better intentions, better meaning in life. Okay, okay. And a follow-up question to that. Uh, we are be uh, being viewed by a lot of uh, followers, uh, followers of Tax Smart Cafe. So any message to, to those startups, those person who is trying out, uh, trying to put up their own business, like, like, like you, of course. Yeah. A message to them. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, my message ko, uh, my message to everyone is that uh, there's no mistake in starting a business. In starting a business, business can uh, be risky, but uh, taking a uh, foot forward is the best thing that you're gonna you're going to do in business. Staying steady without doing anything would not make good for business. Uh, taking a uh, risk, of some uh, investment in uh, accumulation of some knowledge could uh, possibly uh, uh, hasten the uh, success and development. But as well, collaboration with other uh, institutions uh, would as well possibly contribute with uh, solidifying uh, the knowledge and uh, concepts, ideas that uh, you can uh, incorporate into the business. And that's what you could possibly uh, foresee a growth which we can uh, share to uh, clients. Okay. Okay, we'll wrap this up with one more question, okay? Sure, Joy, thank you very much. Sure, what does success mean? Success means uh, you fulfill what's the inside passion of you. If your passion is to grow, and if you grow, that's uh, another level of uh, success. But uh, as we go on, we see that we uh, are not only uh, contented with our growth, we would like also to uh, outsource this. Outsource possibly by uh, channeling uh, your success. In terms of finance, you channel it so that uh, others will benefit as well from your organization. Okay, so leverage others' experiences, take that first step forward, and then channel that, spread that, that success to others as well. That's correct, Joy. Sounds good. It's an inspiring kwento ng negosyanting Pinoy, Joy. Exactly. So as we are always saying, save taxes legally and be smart with be smart with tax, tax cafe. Smart cafe. Tax smart cafe. Tax smart cafe.